Welcome to the prayer channel. We're continuing our 31 days of prayer to prepare for the new year. And as we have been praying over the last few days, we've been asking the Lord to cleanse us. We've been repenting of our past sins. We've been inviting the Lord to help us to see, to have foresight and to have his method for the new year. And yesterday we were asking the Lord to help us to learn how to dig deep, to hear his voice. So today is a different day and today we're going to be asking the Lord to help us to cultivate the land that is needed for us to grow wonderful crops in the new year. Now this is not necessarily physical crops, this is also spiritual crops. We want a spiritual harvest and we understand that we can only see that by sowing seed, sowing seeds of prayer, sowing seeds of surrender and that's what we're doing as we pray through. So today we're reading Job 12, 7 to 12, and it says, But ask the animals what they think. Let them teach you. Let the birds tell you what's going on. Put your ear to the earth. Learn the basics. Listen, the fish in the ocean will tell you their stories. Isn't it clear that they all know and agree that God is sovereign, that he holds all things in his hand? Lord, we understand that you are sovereign, that you hold all things in your hand, that you are omnipotent, Lord, that you are omniscient, Lord, you are everywhere all at once. Lord, you are a mighty God. Lord, you are mighty in power. Lord, you are mighty in stature. Lord, you are mighty in the ability to change situations and transform lives in seconds. And so, Lord, we just stand here and we thank you for your magnitude. And Lord, we invite your magnitude into our lives. Lord, we want you to take over. Lord, we want you to take over. And Lord, we understand, Lord, that we too have our part to play. But Lord, today we just surrender to you and we say, Lord, have your way in this new year that is to come. Lord, take over our minds, take over our lives, take over everything that we want to do. Lord, we are inviting you in. Lord, even today as we pray about cultivating the land, Lord, we understand that to cultivate, Lord, is to move things around, to clean up, to, to flick soil, to change the landscape, to literally move things around so that we would see something different and so lord as we cultivate the land we ask that you would help us you would help us to do it effectively lord even as this scripture says lord would you show us how to learn the basics from those that are around us from the environment that is around us lord where we have been so busy that we haven't even been able to see what you've put in place for us lord give us eyes eyes to see fresh eyes to see, fresh ears to hear. Lord, would we look at the birds and would the birds tell us what's going on? Lord, would we put our ear to the earth and would we hear? Lord, would we listen to the fish and understand that they too have stories? Lord, would we look at the people around us, Lord, and glean insight and information from around them? Lord, we understand that because of your magnitude, Lord, we can expect wonderful things in this new year. We can look to you and expect wonderful things in this new year. And Lord, it's exciting. It's exciting to consider that we would learn so much now in this preparation time that we would be able to launch off and accelerate into what you have for us in this coming year. Lord, we understand that the aim of cultivating the land is to encourage the soil so that the plants can grow better. Lord, we understand that soil that has been moved around allows more oxygen to get into the plant's roots. So Lord, would we cultivate the land in such a way that you would have space to move around in our hearts and in our minds and in our lives? Lord, we understand that we need to be free of weeds. Lord, we need to have good drainage. Lord, we need excellent nutrient for the soil. And so, Lord, in this week, in these weeks before the new year, Lord, we are just cleaning up. Lord, we're cleaning up. Lord, we're tidying up. Lord, we're cultivating the soil. Lord, we're turning it around. 
Lord, we're tilling it, Lord God. Lord, we're raising it. We're reassigning it, Lord God. And we thank you that you were giving us the ability to do that. Oh Lord, thank you that you are our anchor. Thank you, Lord, that you provide nutrients and moisture for us to grow and for us to learn. Lord, we understand, Lord, that we need to be open. We need to be open. As the scripture says, we need to be open. We need to know what's going on. We need to know what's going on. Lord, even as you said in Joel 2, 24 to 25, the threshing places will be full of grain. The pits beside the presses will overflow with wine and olive oil. I will give you back what you lost in the years when swarms of locusts ate your crops. Wow. Lord, we look to this moment. Lord, we look to this moment, Lord, where our new year will be full of grain. Lord, that we will overflow with wine and olive oil in the new year that is to come. And it's because of the cultivation that we've done now. It's because of the prayer work that we've done now, the supplication, the surrender, the consideration and the reflection on what has not gone well. Lord, where the locusts have eaten our crops in the past, we thank you that this year is a new year, it's a different year, and the locusts will not eat our crops this year because we have ascertained, we have gained your wisdom. Lord, we have taken on what you've told us here, that we need to observe our environment. We need to see what's going on. We need to listen to you, Lord God. And Lord, we need to learn and we need to be teachable. Lord, we are all those things today. Lord, thank you that you are teaching us valuable lessons. You're training us for success. You're training us, Lord, to have threshing places which are full of grain, overflowing with wine and olive oil. Lord, would there be an overflow for us in the new year? Lord, we speak to the overflow. We speak to the overflow, Lord, and we ask, Lord, that you would make a mighty overflow in all our lives. Lord, fill us fill us lord as we cultivate the land and thank you that we can commit to the harvest because we know lord that you are the author of the harvest lord even as we pray in our own words now and we ask for you to help us lord bring to remembrance everything lord that we need to put before you so that we can cultivate the land effectively for the new year in jesus name we pray amen Thank you.